Hey guys, it's Jackson here from Titanic Games, and today we're going to be continuing the survival game series and we'll be updating the project to 4.15. Alright, so let's go ahead and launch 4.15. Once it's open, we can go find the uh, our current project, which is currently 4.14. Alright, and if you select it and hit open, it will try to you know create a copy of the project except for 4.15. So that's what we'll do. We'll open a copy, wait for it to create the copy. Alright, so once the copy has been made, it should open up the project for you. If it doesn't, then just go ahead and open it up. Alright, so the only thing that we really need to change is, uh, well first let's go ahead and check out what's going on. So when we press play, alright, here we are, sun's going up and around, uh, but what we'll notice is that as it dips down, you know, and becomes night, there's going to be this weird thing that happens in the sky. Um, we'll see if it does it here like this you see that and the edges of the screen have this weird hue to it you know and obviously the sky is not dark anymore it's just this really weird really weird thing going on so the question is you know how do we fix that All right. so it's pretty simple to do um, all we need to do is locate our weather manager so we can go we can either edit it from here or go to blueprints weather and weather manager okay and we just need to break this link here um, so that fade sun shouldn't be connected anymore. The reason being, uh, the math that I've done here is a little wrong. Um, I'm, you know, I'm working on it. They're fixing it up, but to be honest, it really isn't necessary. Um, so you could just scrap this whole function, and it w wouldn't make a difference in the world. So um, now, if we go ahead and try it out, let's play. All right, it shouldn't have that issue anymore. Um, so you know, as it as it dips down at night, we shouldn't see that weird uh, light pop in in the center of the sky. So, so there we go. So it goes to night a lot better. All right. Now, obviously, night doesn't last very long, which I know uh, some of you, you know, well, many of you probably want it to last longer, right? So, so how do we do that now? So what we can do for that is we can actually create a new curve. Um, if you recall in one of the previous videos, we created a curve for the daily uh, temperature fluctuation. Uh, where we can create another one that we can use specifically to drive uh, the, um, excuse me, to drive the rising and setting of the sun. Okay. Um, now this way isn't you know perfect in, as far as uh, accounting for maybe variations in uh, the temperature rising and setting at different times. All right. So it's more of like once you find the time that you want to use as the sun up or the sun down, then you would kind of use this method. Um, but I am working on another method that will hopefully be more, uh, I guess, modular, uh, just meaning that it will allow you to, you know, add um, more variation and do things mathematically rather than using a curve. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and create the curve for this. So we'll go ahead and right click. We'll go to miscellaneous, I believe, and then we'll go to curve, and we'll select curve float. Select that guy. Uh, we'll name this CF underscore. You'll have to excuse me, my typing's a little slow. I only have one hand right now. Um, but we'll call this CF underscore, uh, how about day, I don't know, day night cycle. All right. So we'll open that guy up. Here he is. All right. So in the graph here, we're going to need to add a bunch of keys that will help us drive, you know, our our sun's pitch essentially uh, along the curve. Okay. But first, we need to define what our units of measurement are here. So the way that I have decided to do it is basically take each, you know, each whole number, so zero, one, two, three, etc., um, and count that as kind of like the hour. All right. So at hour zero, the sun's pitch is, you know, here. And at hour six, the sun's pitch is here, right? Um, that's kind of what we'll be doing for that. And then this unit of measurement is what uh, we'll be using degrees for that, okay? And since the sun needs to complete a full revolution each day, we need to make sure that we go 360 degrees, okay? Now, first though, we need to figure out what is our starting point. All right, we don't just want to place a random number and not really know what we're doing, right? Uh, so to find the starting point, we'll go 
uh, back out into the editor here, go find our sun. Okay, and we need to kind of find what is you know completely uh, the sun is um, facing up that way, meaning it's midnight, right? So I believe if we set this to 90, 0, and 0, right? So a value of nine, a positive 90 will get us you know midnight essentially, okay? So I'll just reset that for the time being. Um, so we know that 90 is where we want to start. So we'll go back to our curve here. Um, we'll right click, add a key. Okay, set it to time zero and a value of 90. All right. So now we have that. Next, what we need to do is, well, let's go find out what our sunrise time is and our sunset time. So we'll go into our weather manager. Okay, we'll go look at our day night cycle. Oops, not the functions, um, the variables. Or no, under time. And we want to find our sun up time and our sun down time. Okay, so at hour six, we want to, you know, we want the sun to come up, and at hour twenty, we want the sun to go down. Okay. So what I like to do is kind of give it like a plus or minus uh, one hour around whatever time you want it to rise. Okay, because um, it looks a little na more natural, I guess, in my opinion. Um, but of course, you can always play around with it after you figure out how it works. So we'll go into the day-night cycle. Um, and we'll zoom in a little bit here um, and we're gonna go ahead and right click add a new key okay and we're gonna set its time to be uh, one less than the time we want the Sun to rise so five okay its value should also be 90 keep in mind okay because throughout this whole period we want it to still be dark okay now next what we want to do is um, well, whenever we want the sun to be, you know, risen, okay, we're going to want it to be at zero. So it will have moved a full 90 degrees uh, from this time to our next time, okay? So we'll go down here, right click, add another key, okay? And we'll set its time to one over our sun up time, so seven. And value will be zero, okay? And we can hit on um, these fit. Uh, buttons here to you know scale or to fit our graph our curve excuse me to the screen a little better okay so we have that next we need to define kind of our day period right so our day period will just go from um, basically zero to essentially negative um, let's see what did I figured out I think uh, 180 degrees less okay so like negative uh, 180 so we'll come down here a little bit and go find one hour less than um, our sun downtime. Okay, so we'll add a key around here ish just for now. Set its value to negative 180 and its time to 19. Okay, and now from between 19 and one hour above our sun downtime, um, we'll add one more key here. And we'll set its value to negative 270 and time to 21. Okay. Then we just just need one more key at 24. Right click, add the key. 24 and negative 270. All right. So there we go. There is our full, uh, you know, day night cycle. I guess. Okay. Um, so, you know, it'll be night whenever it's at 90 degrees or negative 270. Okay. And then throughout here is where our day occurs okay so these little parts here are this is sun up this is sun down okay and this is our day all right so this is just a way to basically make your days and nights longer while minimizing the time spent in that uh, you know sun up and sun down time okay now one last thing that we need to make sure that we do is make sure that this uh, cycles indefinitely okay um, so forever essentially so what we'll do is click this little curve options drop down and we need to go to pre infinity. All right. Now we'll change pre infinity here to cycle, which means, you know, basically forever and ever before this point, it will, it will, you know, uh, excuse me, it will essentially just copy this, uh, cycle over and over. Okay. Now 
for this, we'll do the same thing for post infinity, make it cycle. So anything after this point will repeat this same um, curve. All right, so we have that created. Let's go into our weather manager now. Let's go find the update sun position uh, function. So here it is. Okay. So what we're gonna do now, instead of you know, instead of this, is like the old way of doing it. Uh, I'm gonna break this link. We'll just move this up there. Uh, comment it and say old way. Okay. So that's our old way of doing it. But now we have a new way. All right, and that new way, well, first we need to add the curve there. So let's see, do we have, yeah, we have a curve there, but we'll add a new one for in the time. Uh, and we'll go ahead and call this, um, let's call it sun pitch curve. All right, we'll move that guy into our time, change it to a curve float reference. All right, and then we'll give it that reference of our day-night cycle. Okay, so now we can go take our get fraction of the day function. So go ahead and go find that guy. Where is he? Right here. Get fraction of the day. We'll drag it out here. Okay. Now since this is still a fraction of the day, we're going to multiply it uh, by um, 24 so that we can kind of convert this to hours essentially. Okay, so whatever the fraction of the day is, we'll multiply it by 24, you know, to get an hour of the day, essentially. Okay, and then from there, we're going to take our sun pitch curve, we're going to get that guy, and we're going to say get float value, plug that dude in, hook it up to sun pitch, and there we go. So everything should work out nicely now, provided that this is based on a 24-hour scale, okay? Because um, that's how it'll read it. All right, every every fraction of the day, right? It multiplies it by 24 and gives us a value along this curve. Okay. So, if we want to try this out now, hopefully everything works. Press play. Okay, sun's coming up. Now, when it gets to, I believe 9 p.m., right? It should start setting. Okay. Sort of. Well, yeah, I guess it kind of worked there. It Maybe, you know, you'd probably want to tweak the values there a little bit, but you'll see that night is a lot longer now. All right, and night starts to starts to come up once it reaches 5. All right, um, so you see there, there's still a little customizing that you might want to do with as far as the values around the sun up and sun down, um, but for all intents and purposes, right, it works all right. Um, let's actually, yeah, let's change up that ending part really quick. I don't really like that. Um, let's see. Maybe we, what we could do is let's move it over to. Um, let's move this over to twenty. We'll make this guy twenty-two. That might be a little better. And you could also bring him down a little bit. So maybe do something like negative two fifteen. I don't know. I'll just keep it with negative 180, and we'll just go with that. That'll be fine. So, anyways, there we go. There, uh, we've now upgraded our project to 4.15, and we'll be continuing to work in 4.15 for the duration of this project, uh, unless, of course, you know, new engine versions come out, and then we can upgrade to those as well. Uh, but also, you know, now we have a better way of doing the day-night cycle, I guess, or you know, quote-unquote better. Um, and everything is working out nicely. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you like it, like or subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.